Charlie Mendez is the holder. He's had a good day punting the football. Richard Telly, the grad transfer from Stanford, trying to deliver Rice a season-opening victory here to start 2020. From 45 yards, the kick is up. It is off the upright and out. It hit the upright twice, then the crossbar and stayed out. Stunning. For my Chicago Bears fans out there, that would be called the triple doink, as you uh, are all too familiar with. A failed attempt at fourth down on the touchdown pass to Josh Palmer. He's back to throw again, avoids the pressure momentarily, and now he'll keep it. And got a couple of yards out of it before he's run out of bounds by and Jordan then, Davis. Well, they're going to get a late hit here, too. Okay, well, I, I didn't see that the first time. Nope, but somebody did. we got a lot of cameras out here. Hands in the stands, so you have to bring your own energy. And if you walk, Phil, if you don't bring it, he'll bring it for you, and he'll bring it to you. <laughs> and he, he was fired up down there on that sideline. He wants everybody to know, raise your level. I just want to make sure I'm at the right, right press conference here. We, we did win the game, I think. Uh, but make sure I'm at the right spot. Am I in the right spot? Okay, I want to make sure. I think we won the game. Hey, it's not easy to win. You know, mistakes are, are – you know, there's a lot of teams out there that, that would have lost this game uh, with the amount of some of the mistakes that we made. But we won the game uh, by almost four touchdowns. So, I, I think I'm – I think this is the right press conference. Uh, so I just want to make sure, you know, because I, I I'm not getting any questions about, you know, be proud of you guys for winning the game. It's all about a lot of negative questions. So I'm not, you're not going to get any negative stuff from me. Ah. Ooh, ah, that's what you need. Boots it right into his own teammate. This ball is free. Aggies recover. Hedinger picks it up. And recovered. Velasquez spiked it into it. Looked like Bates. Utah State team needed more than some stops. Needed something like a turnover. And, of course, it's not truly a turnover. It would have been their ball anyway. But this is exactly what they needed. Boom. I don't know that I've ever seen that one. Yeah, just kind of hits the extended arm of Bates right there. If it got by them. These fans, uh, cardboard cutouts <laughs> and popcorn I remember that guy. guy. Remember from... Uh, <laughs> Final minute of our third quarter. That's called the Wabash Cannonball, all right? That's correct. Another reason why I didn't watch the World Series last night. Trying to get up to speed. Yeah, we'd be very happy, I think. Well, what a welcome back to the SEC for you, Coach. It's a great day for you, huh? Yeah, I tell you, it's better than average, I'll tell you that. <laughs> this, this stadium, there's a lot there's a lot of ghosts in this stadium. And, um, you know, and you play, uh, we play, we played LSU because, you know, New England, Green Bay, and the Chiefs uh, <laughs> had somebody scheduled. So we played these guys. But I'm really proud of our guys. I thought we played real well. I thought we stuck in there during tough times and, and that snaps way over his head then it's got a back pedal all the way drop the ball inside the five and it's going to be a touchdown i think or a safety let's see it's a touchdown tennessee the ball kept squirting around at the goal line and it's recovered by the volunteers trey hill was replaced in the first game of the year at center because of bad snaps Here's another one. This was really bad. Stetson tries to knock it back in play because he thinks it's going to be a safety. But from there, no one can fall on it. And he picked it up. Slovis in trouble. And Slovis is sacked by Arizona State's Tyler Johnson. Guys, this is just a, a, a poor design here from, from USC. Tyler Johnson, who's a heck of a pass rusher, is going to head off the field right now. Maybe has to, you know, when you leave that quick with, with no assistance, folks, you all know what he's got to do. <laughs> Matt Ferentz having trouble with the snap. The ball is loose, and it scoots into the end zone, and it's pushed out of the back of the end zone. And it's going to be a safety. Low snap yeah. off the turf. Yep, it was a low snap. Ferentz couldn't get it going, and... Boy, think about right there, though, had 
Well, and that's a smart play there, be, you know. And I think this is targeting, right? Watch the launch. Yep. Right Head to neck the neck area. Neck area. <laughs> I mean, here you go, a little closer look at it. I mean, you're going to see the launch right there, yeah. I mean, right to the head or neck area. He's defenseless. You can't defend yourself. Headset flying off. Coach. I mean, that is a linebacker right there, right? The former linebacker himself. And truly, when you hear people say, gosh, I just love my teammates. I just love playing for my teammates. I, I love Will be the last play. Goes out of bounds. Escorted there by Keith Thompson. Zeros on the board. <laughs> and that is that. 24-10 the final. Yeah, this, whoa, there's a push late. Key Thompson and Gibson. No, that's unnecessary. That's not, no, now there's the push of the face mask. You know what? This is a hard-fought game. Yeah. So you, you're kind of standing a little bit. 19 straight losses. Not only has the pendulum swung, field position has swung. And that is a huge, huge advantage now for West Virginia taking over on offense. Credit the Mountaineer defense. Austin McNamara to punt to Alex Sinkfield. Neil Brown wants to see Sinkfield more aggressive on punt returns. Uh, this one getting some help from the West Texas wind, and <laughs> McNamara flips the field. I don't think I've been that excited for a punt. That's an 87-yard punt. I'll start. I'm unmuted. Um... Dan, Darth Vader, I'm assuming that's you. Still Halloween, baby. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Look at him. There he is. Bottom of your screen. Knuckle push-ups. <laughs> Looks like you during halftime, James Bates, getting in a quick workout. <laughs> uh, I'm doing squats right I'm now. 73, we beat Florida State, then come back and play Boston College and lose it. Oh, here's a, oh, it's a pick. This could be six. It is Jarrell White into the end zone for Cincinnati. Sniper position. Boy, he reminds me so much of a teammate of mine in college, Alton Montgomery. He went on. In that formation, in that situation, you're going. Very late. And a muff. A late fair catch signal from Sinfield, and his own man ran into him. And the ball caroms off a West Virginia player, and a special teams gap comes up with the recovery. Watch Bryce Ford beat and right there. That was dangerous right there as Mac Brown having to avoid Cherkovic. The first. King with all kinds of time heaves one deep, and the far sideline toss is incomplete. Wiggins blanket coverage out there for Breon Murray. King does a really, do you get press coverage outside Murray on Higgins? And if you're Miami, you want to take that every time as Higgins goes headlong into the net. Oh, yeah. All right now, what do you call him? <laughs> you got me on that one. Uh, the big fella leading the way yeah. is the weekend. BYU football team dance party. We've seen it every week already. <laughs> well, they are going out. Defense going off. Uh, a lot to celebrate. The offense at DC Championship. They've already got the one loss to FSU. On the Virginia side, you're talking about a four-game losing skid, which probably feels like, you know, 10 or 12 at this point that they are trying to snap here tonight. You're so right about that, Dave. I and mean, with everything that's going on and kind of some of the challenges with playing football. Yes, 24 to 16. Jordan crying has made it as a cutout here. Back after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Um, I'd, I'd be uh, a little concerned, huh? <laughs> Chalk line around his body, maybe. Exactly. And now for the Blue Devils, Porter Wilson, force a punt. 
Nice high kick. Tommy Robinson back. Now it's a loose football. Inside the 10-yard line, still loose, rolling toward the end zone. And Duke's going to make a huge play on special teams for the score. Talking about Beamer ball. How about Cutcliffe ball on the other side? This football, you see the ball, really long kick. Tavion Robinson backs up to catch it. You coach guys to always move forward to catch the football. Veteran offensive line. And that's helped provide protection for Delora, who gives it another shot to the end zone into coverage and picked off. Jaden Grant in the end zone. And the first Smith. As Tristan Jebby connects, there's your chainsaw. Yeah, the old turnover chainsaw. Now, now give it to the offense. You know, see if they can. Stench, it's A.J. Rose who gets the first try against this Ole Miss defense, and Rose is off to the races, putting on the Jets. Calling his own shot, but somebody tackled him. He thought he was going to get into the end zone, but Jacory Hawkins caught up with him inside the five. So, with the direct snap, snap, it straight to him this time, Stinch, and he tries the right side between, behind blocking there, and they're going to say he stopped short. Did that ball come out? There's a pile on it right now. Ole Miss football. And A.J. Rose is trying for a second effort right at the goal line. He gets stood up. Look at him trying to extend the ball. And it looked like Lakia Henry, among many others, get there and punch this football out. It's a 90 catches on the season. The jet sweep here. McConnell gets into space. McConnell, big pickup. McConnell trying to outrun everybody. L.J. McConnell. McDuffie, though, tracked him down from behind. Touchdown saving tackle by McDuffie, but a huge play turned in by L.J. McConnell. Big time play to set up Abilene Christian inside of the red zone. Right here. I don't know what he's doing right there. He put up his hand, but he's flashing the deuces, as the guy <laughs> said right there, saying peace signal. I don't know what he was doing, but you better hustle because Julian McDuffie can run. Lined up at the top. Starkle comes the other way. This time Bailey Gaither snags it. And now he's racing up the sideline. Cuts it inside the 20. And he's going to score 41 yards to get the Spartans on the board. You get your eyes. Bryce Jackson has to do a better job of staying outside. Bailey Gaither did a heck of a job. The 24, when he came inside, he gave him the runway to the to the end zone. Those are the things that they talked about. They Dunker came up with the loose ball. We'll check on exactly how that was ruled. The kick up and good. And so the flashes take an early. You know, it seems as if they're trying to set up a return. He drops the ball, and it's scooped up by Liberty. Touchdown, Flames. The worst case scenario comes to fruition. Right there, and he just dropped the ball. Graham Mertz on second and ten finds Jake Ferguson and the well that's not the ball it's a shoe that pops free <laughs> as he's brought down shy of the 20 yard line he lost his right shoe I certainly thought that was the ball I really did I said Jake Hansen again another forced fumble look at that how did it have that much velocity <laughs> I've seen some shoes come off, but not like that. <laughs> it's one of the traditions that Chris Creighton has instilled, and, you know, it's a big honor to carry that thing out to start the game as Huntley with the 15th run of the night just four second. passes. That, that's an honor right yes. there. That's an honor. That's that like a badge hold, of honor. he has to hold that the whole well, game. I don't know about holding it the whole game. I mean, usually what I've seen him do is Huntley goes left side on another big run. So oh, here's the deal. So I had the part right. I knew it was an honor to carry it but you cannot let it touch the ground. Somebody has to have it in their possession off the ground the entire game. And shout out to Mike Stevens, the umpire. He jumped out of there. He showed some nifty footwork there to get out of the way of that pass and allowed the completion for Arizona. Check this out. Jumped up just out of the way. All right, Mike. Some discombobulation on the defense and we got a fake injury on the field. Roland Walder just fell down. Snap. Charge timeout, Bowling Green. <laughs> They're first to that. High snap, gets by him. And this is a disastrous start on special teams. He won't even get out of the way. It's blocked. Chaos out there. Ball still loose. And picked up by the Beavers. They're going to score. Jaden Grant got to the ball in the end. It's a touchdown for Oregon State. Some 
fun after dark. No one could have got that. I don't think Tim Duncan could have pulled that one down. And there you see Oregon State trying to pursue. Rashid comes and makes a really heads-up play blocking that kick when he could have just made the tackle. At that point, when the punter's running around, he's no longer protected. Hangs his feet. Third and one. Irish will keep it with Book. And Ian Book's got the first. and lost the football. It's free in the end zone. And recovered by Balin Spector of Clemson. Oh. It was not even close. Jake Venables with an effort play laying out and just got the ball loose. If I'm a ball carrier, I know it looks cool, but I just wouldn't want to get hit in you know where. You know, yeah. no, nobody wears protection down there in, in football. It's too bulky. You can't move. All right, a little end around here. And some running room. Shakir to the lineman Crabtree. I hope the big boy gets a <laughs> touchdown. You better give it to him. Glover will kick it away. And Robinson over on the far side will bring it back from the one. And, and it's thrown right to Tulane for a touchdown. Now it may have been a forward throw by the Black Knights, but taking it in. It was Jatavian Tolls. Bro, I understand it was a trick play that was designed to do that, but he's going to be hoping that that was a forward lateral, and it was pretty close. Right. Because we're at midfield, and it looked pretty level from where I'm sitting, which means it might have been backwards, and it doesn't look like they're even going to look at it. Raquan Williams just takes it and throws it over his head. Watch this. Look at this. He just, oh, he just threw it up. That's six laterals, six, seven, seven laterals, eight, eight laterals. This is perfect right there. Vedril has the wherewithal to find him on the outside. Vedril has completed a couple of TD passes to melt in the conventional way. Gophers, but Michigan's defense makes a stand on fourth down, and now breaking free is Haskins. Haskins being chased down, but he busts a long run. It'll finally be grabbed by the jersey at the 30-yard line by Coney Dewar, but the Wolverines are backed up no longer. Time, second down seven. Play action. Corral. Oh, my goodness, Elijah Moore wide open. Clay Kimber just threw his clipboard 30 yards in the air. Touchdown on this. What a play. Watch the celebration by Lane Kiffin. Hands are already up. Ball is not even out of his quarterback's hands. He starts at the 38. He loses the clipboard at the 47. And he sprints all the way down out of the headset to the 26 in a fist pump. Which one kicks it? Capson 16, Mahalik 39. It squirts free. Western Michigan may have recovered. I think Caps may have cradled it with his arm. They'll throw it to a wide open hole. Touchdown, Broncos! Did you hear a whistle? I heard a whistle. I don't think I heard a whistle. Shades of Dan Marino, Dolphins, Jets. That's right. Thanks, Spike.